Hello again, this is Captain John with another one of my video tips of the week. In today's video tip, I'm going to show you seven easy ways to use transits, also called ranges, for coastal navigation when docking your boat or when anchoring. Use a transit to stay in the center of channel. Some transits are built by the U.S. Coast Guard or government agency for big ships that carry large amounts of draft, but you can also use two objects that line up like a church and antenna or a tank and lighthouse. Set up a transit as a designated danger mark. Here you can see we've set up two natural objects. We want to be sure to stay to the left side of this line to avoid drifting down on the dangerous shoals to starboard. Use transits when approaching landfall to help you stay on course. Here you can see we use this mountain range lined up with the lighthouse to help us stay on course as we approach the coastline. This will be especially useful if approaching with the wind off the beam where we could be pushed to the side of our sailing track line. Use transits when docking for greater precision. Here we need to land our vessel between the two moored boats and we don't want her to drift ahead or astern. We have a natural transit formed by the hill and dock piling and we'll keep these two objects in line throughout the approach for a smoother landing. Find your position without the need to plot bearings. When two charted objects line up, draw a line between those two objects and extend it out past your track line. This will show your exact position without the need to use a compass rose or protractor. Transits which cross our track line at a steep angle can be used to show the advance of our vessel along a track. We departed the buoy at 0900 and sailed for 45 minutes. At 0945, we found two charted objects in line which cross our track line at a steep angle. Now we can measure between our 0900 and 0945 position to find our actual sailing speed over ground. Set up drag bearings with transits to tell if your anchor is holding. As soon as you lower and set the anchor, find two objects that line up off the beam. As long as those two objects stay in line, you know your anchor is holding. If the objects begin to separate, this could indicate that the anchor is dragging along the seabed. Veer scope or let out more anchor road to get your anchor to reset into the seabed, then belay the anchor road and choose a new transit to check for dragging. Now you know seven easy ways to use transits, also called ranges, for safer sailing or cruising on the waters of the world. This is Captain John, and this has been another one of my video tips of the week. Find more sailing tips and techniques on www.skippertips.com.